China executed 14 people, with assets of at least 1 billion yuan, which is 155 million dollars, during the past 8 years as the government expanded its fight against corruption. The dead include Yuan Baojing, a former stockbroker executed by lethal injection in 2006 for the murder of a man who had tried to blackmail him. Wang Zhenhuan, chairman of the Yingkao Donghua, trading group, was executed in 2008 for a scheme that persuaded investors to buy and breed ants. Between 2003 and 2011, some 72 billionaires in the Chinese mainland reportedly died of unnatural causes. Among the 72 billionaires, 15 were murdered, 17 committed suicide, 7 died from accidents, 14 were executed according to the law and 19 died from diseases. Wang took in about $400 million between 2002 and 2005 by persuading over 10,000 investors to spend $1.300 for each ant farm kit reportedly worth less than $30 in hopes of realizing 40 to 60% returns. Fifteen executives who participated in Wang's scheme were sentenced to prison. Liu Han and his brother Liu Wei, were the next billionaires in line. Liu Han was born in 1965 in Guanghan, Sichuan province, the middle child in a family with three sons and two daughters. His father, Liu Shang, was a veteran of the Korean War, who worked as a secondary school physics teacher after leaving the army. He died in 1990. His mother, Li Wanzhen, worked as a street vendor. In the mid-1980s, Liu Han began buying and reselling timber, construction material, and petroleum. In the early 1990s, he started to operate gambling dens in Guanghan with his brother Liu Wei. He entered the commodity market in the mid-1990s, trading soybeans and steel between 1994 and 1997, which earned him hundreds of millions of yuan. One of the prime catches in the anti-corruption hunt of current President Xi Jinping, Liu was a mining oligarch whose personal fortune was once valued at 6.4 billion dollars. Liu Han had a passion for cars, and boasted that he owned 80 luxury cars. He was an avid gambler who sometimes gambled all night long. During his trial, he said he lost $128 million gambling in Macau, $15 million in the United States, and millions more in Singapore and Australia. Liu's fall was widely perceived as a strike against his close ally, the powerful former security minister Zhu Yong Kang. After months years even of rumors about his impending fate, Zhu was arrested for corruption in December 2014. He has since been sentenced to spend the rest of his life in prison. The case against Liu was one of the most prominent involving a private businessman since President Xi Jinping took office two years ago and began a campaign against graft. Once ranked as China's 230th richest person, Liu was tried, along with 36 others, accused of murder and running the so-called gang. Liu's younger brother Liu Wei and three others were also executed, according to Xinhua. Previous year China announced a probe into Zhu Yong Kang, one of its most influential politicians of the last decade, in a case that has its roots in a power struggle in the ruling Communist Party. Liu was once a business associate of Zhu's eldest son, Zhu Bin. 
State media have not explicitly linked Liu's case to Zhu Yong Kang, but reported that his rise coincided with Zhu's time as Sichuan Province's party boss. The party has already probed several of Zhu's protégés, including Jiang Jiemin, who was the top regulator of state-owned enterprises. Liu's commodity trading resulted in a dispute with the Liaoning billionaire Yuan Baojing. Yuan lost nearly 100 million Yuan and believed that it was caused by Liu's manipulation of a broker. He offered a former policeman, Wang Crossing, 160,000 Yuan for Liu's life. Wang in turn hired the contract killer Li Haiang. In February 1997, Li shot at Liu twice in a Sichuan hotel but missed him. Li was captured and later sentenced to life in prison. Wang Crossing then repeatedly blackmailed Yu on Bao Jing, who eventually hired his cousins to murder Wang in 2003. Yu On was convicted of murder and executed in the 17th of March 2006. The Liu brothers started out running gambling dens in their base in Guanghan, in China's southwestern Sichuan province, in the early 1990s, gathering around them a gang of local thugs and vagrants. State media reported around the time of their trial. The brothers' empire grew, before finally attracting the attention of central authorities with an alleged public shooting at a Guang in Tia House one afternoon in January, 2009, supposedly ordered by Liu Wei and directed at an underworld rival. Liu Han also developed a reputation as a philanthropist building a rural school campus following a 2008 earthquake that devastated Sichuan. His brother also had a reputation for charity, and had been a torch bearer in the build-up to the Beijing Olympics, also in 2008. Liu Han and his brother Liu Wei attracted the attention of the central government after a January 2009 shooting at a Guang in Tia House. Liu Wei allegedly ordered the attack, which killed three men including the rival gang boss Chen Fei Wei, who had been recently released from prison. The brothers had allegedly ordered the killing of others including a villager who led a protest against one of the real estate projects in Mianyang, a rival gang boss in Mianyang, and an old neighbor in Guanghan. Liu Han was arrested in March 2013, only months after Xi Jinping became General Secretary of the Communist Party of China, China's top leader. Xi launched an anti-corruption campaign which in its early days targeted Zhu Yong Kang's associates in Sichuan. The Liu brothers were tried at the Xianning Intermediate People's Court in Hebei province, and sentenced to death in May 2014. Han was also deprived of his political rights for life order to forfeit all of his assets. Liu Han was found guilty on 13 charges, including murder, running casinos and a mafia-like gang, and selling firearms. They appealed to the High People's Court of Hebei, which upheld the original sentences in August 2014. Liu Han and Liu Wei were executed on the 9th of February 2015 along with three associates. China has embarked on legal reforms, including reducing the use of the death penalty, as public discontent mounts over wrongful punishment. Though wrongful executions have often stirred outrage, capital punishment itself has wide support from the public. Anti-death penalty campaigners say China uses the death penalty far more than other countries. The government does not release the number of executions it carries out, deeming it a state secret. 
Thank you for watching Death Row.